I have another story for you tonight. And this story is called, Whose Moon Is That? This is another one of my favorites. Um, I found it recently, so it's fairly new, I believe. But it's about the moon that I love. It has a cat on the cover that I also love. And it has such beautiful illustrations of the sky in the book. You'll see, it's so pretty. So in this book, there's lots of different animals. Um, and I'm also going to teach you the sign, like American Sign Language, that I teach in my classroom of some of those animals. So that'll be fun too. All right. This book is called Whose Moon Is That? by Kim Kranz. Whose moon is that? asked the curious cat. The sign for cat is like this. It's like you're pulling whiskers away from your face. Cat. It's my moon, said the tree. There's the big tree. And the way you say tree in sign language is like this tree. You put your elbow on your hand and you move your arm back and forth. Tree. Lila's down here with me. She likes this book too. Lila's my cat. So pretty. The tree is wrong, said the bird with a song. The moon belongs to me. There's the bird in front of the moon. The way you sign bird is you take your index finger and your thumb and you press them together, kind of like a baby bird eating. Bird. I found it first, said the bear with a burst, and I don't like to share. Look at that bear. So the way you sign bear is you cross your arms over your chest and then you make your fingers kind of look like bear claws and you squeeze them back and forth. Bear. And you can growl too. Just like a bear. Is this a joke? The mountain spoke. It's mine. It's only fair. See what I was talking about? How pretty is that? Oh, I love watercolors. I don't know the sign for mountain. I'm sorry. <laughs> now that's a lie, said the starry sky. The moon is held by me. So stars, the sign for stars is like this. You point your fingers up at the sky and kind of make it look like your fingers are popping popcorn. Stars. It helps me howl, said the wolf with a growl. I own it, obviously. There's the wolf howling at the moon. Wow. I'm not sure of the sign for wolf either. I'll have to look that one up when I finish this video. Now I'm appalled, the ocean called. None of this is true. I reflect its light on my waves all night. It does not belong to you. Ooh, the ocean. I'm not sure of the sign for ocean, but I know water is you hold three fingers up the fingers that make a W, and you press them against your chin. Water. Water in the ocean. All right, all right, said the moon so bright. If the curious cat must know. When darkness falls, I'm a light for all. 
yet no one owns my glow. If you fight all night over wrong or right, you'll miss the mystery. I shine for one and all and none throughout eternity. Wow. So pretty. And with that, the curious cat curled up and took a nap. When morning broke and he awoke, he said, hey. What do you think he's gonna say? He said, hey, whose son is that? The end. And there's his tail in the back. Yay. So that's another really fun book called Whose Moon Is That? And this is actually perfect because my friends in my class were going to go to the planetarium this month and learn about the moon and the stars and the sun. So maybe this is helpful as well. All right, friends. Thanks for listening again. Have a great night. Bye.